24 hours before the present time, Kun was beginning to hear voices again, which is not supposed to happen. And despite the fact that when he was in Genom, the Plutonian wrapped him up to stop the voices as a pretentious Betanor, whom is being inhabited by Molios, took advantage of the perilous condition of Kun and began to convince him to go after the remaining members of the Paradigm, especially Gilgamesh and Kaidan, in stopping them in planting the seeds from the tree of life in their own way of eradicating the coming radiation. Hearing more of these voices continuously, Khan rips the wrap around his body and it could be seen that the mouths at his back were mute but he can still hear them speak. Bettinor, whom is being inhabited by Modius, didn't stop there but went further to convince Khan that if he wants to stop hearing those voices, then he has to obey and do what the voices tell him to do, in which is to go for the hunt and kill Gilgamesh and Kaidan, for they are sworn enemies of the Plutonian. And stupid Khan fell for the trickery of Betinor, whom is being inhabited by Modius, got their location and went after them. The truth is that Khan wasn't hearing voices, but hearing a recorded subliminal audio programmed specifically for his own hearing, created by Betinor, whom is being inhabited by Modius. Not knowing the wiser, Modanse fell for the trickery of Betinor, whom is being inhabited by Modius, in convincing Modanse that the Plutonian wants him to turn his sonic cry into a weapon. At first, Modanse questioned the reasoning behind that request from the Plutonian, for he can empty a lake by just glaring at it. That why would he want his sonic cry as a weapon? But Betinor, whom is being inhabited by Modius, is a master manipulator, told Modanse to go ask the Plutonian himself and tell him he won't do it. But Betinor, whom is being inhabited by Modius, knows that Modanse will never challenge the Plutonian's authority. So without any doubt or suspicion, Modanse complied as he stepped into the sonic vault. He was asked to scream and realized that he can't stop or control his scream. And before he knew what was happening to him, he was compressed and trapped inside a bulb that can withhold him and his powers, which was the doing of Betinor, who is being inhabited by Modius. Now the Plutonian, in furious anger, is on his way to get Modius. But let's talk about Betinor as a person. Her abilities haven't come to the surface all this while, as Modius inhabited her body. For Modius understand Betinor's powers more than herself, for she was only known as a female crime fighter with customized ammunition and capable of making her bullets blow up very large objects like a building or a skyscraper. Betinor was more, for she has the capability of altering gravity in singularities. Now, according to the theory of quantum gravity, which aims to merge quantum mechanics and general relativity, suggests that these singularities should not exist, for her powers are capable of manipulating gravity in a vast amount of space in which it was able for Betinor, whom is being inhabited by Modius, in overpowering the Plutonian's ability to fly, whom crash landed, and to be well prepared for his arrival, Betinor, whom is being inhabited by Modius, induced the body of Betinor with chemicals to adjust her frontal lobe of her brain in a way to heighten her powers, in which at this time the Plutonian was unable to move as things around him were crashing on him. He managed to overcome the gravitational force as Betinor, whom is being inhabited by Modius, saw the Plutonian. He noticed this was a different Plutonian, for he could feel his aura. And likewise, the Plutonian made Betinor, whom is being inhabited by Modius, that he was not Betty Noor, but Modius inside the body of Betty Noor. For the Plutonian has the capability of seeing an individual's memories using the mind as a lens through time, which is a way different from mind reading. So he can see all the events in reversal. And this is how he knows that Modius had inhabited the body of Betinor, whom was declaring his undying love for the Plutonian that they can be together by him having the physical body of Betinor and an intelligent mind of his, for they are a perfect match. As the Plutonian rejected Betinor, whom is being inhabited by Modius, seductive advances. But he forcefully kissed the Plutonian against his will, for he knows he wouldn't.
couldn't hurt better no. And with this merging of powers, there was an explosion. The ancient seeds from the tree of life, when planted, will germinate and grow quickly in the purpose of stopping the radiation. But not only that, it will eradicate diseases in existence, aging, infirmity, even death. It will freeze time on earth, no more getting old or mature. People will have to live forever, bearing all the sorrow and pain with no way out. And worst of all, if Cubit fails to reform the Plutonian, the imagination of being in existence with someone as crazy as the Plutonian will be a living hell. So either her humanity is left between a rock and a hard place. So Gilgamesh passed the seeds to Kaidan, for she made her understand that when the seeds germinate into a tree, the doors of the afterlife will be closed. And this will stop Kaidan from summoning spirits of the dead or even have any hope of joining her ancestors in the afterlife, warning her to make a wise decision, for immortality isn't that much of a blessing, as Khan discovered their location and about to strike. Cubit was finding it hard to get the location of the Plutonian through teleportation due to the fact that the closer he gets to him, the further he becomes, as he understands that a high level of gravity field is making the Plutonian out of focus for him. So he had to develop another strategy in circumventing high gravitational field for time is of the essence. The Plutonian pushed and blasted away Betunor whom is being inhabited by Modius, promising to kill Modius whom in his twisted mind was disappointed in the Plutonian's rejection and wept as he told the Plutonian in anger not to push him away. That at least he knows what he wants unlike the Plutonian. For when Modius was in the body of Kota, he asked him what he wanted and the Plutonian gave no answer. As Betunor whom is being inhabited by Modius punched and pummeled the Plutonian to the floor with the strength of gravity acquired. And the more he struck the Plutonian with the body of Betinor, it kills an entire star system. For he was using great force. And it is obvious that the reason the Plutonian is not striking back at Betinor, whom is being inhabited by Modius, was because all he can see is Betinor. For in all sincerity, the Plutonian will never hurt her. And this Modius knows. Confessing to the Plutonian that he figured out his powers a long time ago and also predicted his physical evolution that he is his master in the body of his mistress and finally he can have the plutonian as his a battered plutonian warned betinor whom is being inhabited by modius about the coming radiation but betinor whom is being inhabited by modius care less about the people of earth they can all die for all he cares for he told the plutonian to stop caring about a world that rejected him that they should leave earth and start over in some other world or dimension for he had worked hard to get where he is with the plutonian right now and nothing was taking that away from him a battered disheveled plutonian was still threatening to kill betinor whom is being inhabited by modius but he replied him that he knows that if he wants to stop him he can as he had once burnt his face when he inhabited the body of samsara his sidekick without a care in the world but now that he is in the body of his lover, the Plutonian is in a state of confusion as Betinor, whom is being inhabited by Modius, forcefully consummated sexually with a weak, beaten, battered Plutonian.